Hazel's Amazing Mother by Rosemary West. Hazel's mother gave Hazel a nickel and a kiss and said, Buy something nice for our picnic. I will, said Hazel, and she wheeled Eleanor's carriage down the street. Hazel stopped to help the mailman. I see Eleanor has new shoes, said the mailman. My mother made them, said Hazel. Eleanor's, Eleanor's shoes were sky blue silk. Good morning, said the policeman. I see Eleanor has a new dress. My mother made it, said Hazel. Eleanor's dress was calico with French lace trim. Such a pretty doll, said the baker. My mother made her, said Hazel. The baker gave Hazel a buttercream rose. Hazel bought two cookies for the, from the baker, one for herself and one for Eleanor. But since Eleanor couldn't open her mouth, Hazel ate them both. With her last three pennies, she bought some grapes from the fruit lady and a piece of toast with the jam and jam from the jelly man. Can you find your way home, little girl? asked the fruit lady. Oh, yes, answered Hazel. But at the next corner, Hazel made a wrong turn. After that, she took another wrong turn and another until she found herself on a lonely hilltop in a part of town where she had never been before. Don't worry, Eleanor, said Hazel. We'll find our, find our way back. Just then, a voice, voice rang out. Hey, hey, Doris! Someone's stealing our ball. In a fresh flash, Hazel was surrounded. What should we do, Doris? Said the other, said, said the other boy. If she's going to play with our ball, said Doris. We'll play with that, her doll. Eleanor was tossed from head, hand to hand. Off came her blue silk shoes. Stop! Hazel shouted. Higher and further they drew her. Off came her cal calico dress. Out came her stuffing. No! pleaded Hazel but she was powerless to stop them. When they had finished with her, Eleanor was little more than a rag. Eleanor, my Eleanor, said Hazel. Let's ride the ca carriage with that down the hill, said Doris. Hazel rocked poor ruined Eleanor in her arms. She heard the carriage splash into the pond and the bottom of the hill. Oh, mother, she cried. Mother, I need you. At just that moment, on the other side of town, Hazel's mother was picking the tomatoes for their picnic. Something told her, told her Hazel needed her. A drop of rain fell. fell. That, then it began to pour, and a great, great wind sprang up. It blew the picnic blanket over the garden wall. Hazel's mother caught hold of it, but the wind was so strong that it swept the blanket. Hazel's mother the picnic basket, and the dozen tomatoes over the street tops as if they were no heavier than the blowing leaves. The blanket filled with air ballooned out and sailed over the town. At last it lodged in the very, in the very tree where Hazel was sh sheltered from the rain. 
Doris and the boys were about to run home when Hazel's mother voice boomed out of out from overhead. Wait just a minute. Toma- a tomato hit Doris smack between the eyes. Don't make a move without fixing Eleanor, Hazel's mother roared. Who are you? Doris squealed. It's my mother, said Hazel. Find Eleanor's dress and shoes, mumbled Hazel's mother. Rest her for and sew her up as good as new. Hazel's mother tossed her pocket, swing, swing kit down, the, down to Doris. It was followed by trees more than more tomatoes. The boys quivered like jello. It was all Doris's fault, they yelled. Hazel's mother laughed thunderously. Fish that carriage out of the pond and clean it up, she told them. The boys scrum, scrubbed feverishly. Doris so, sued, them like, sued like a machine. Above them, the sun came out and the clouds slipped away. Eleanor's carriage worked without the squeak. Eleanor was perfect escape for her eyes, which Doris, Doris could not find in the grass. The moment Doris, Doris at, and the boys left, Hazel's mother dropped to the ground. Hazel's mother found the eyes and sewed them back on while Hazel ate the sandwich. Oh, mother, said Hazel, how did you do it? It must have been the power of love, said, Haze, said Hazel's mother. Then they packed up and went home. Hazel took two lady fingers, one for herself and one for Eleanor. But since Eleanor couldn't open her mouth, Hazel ate them both. The end.